Lunar X Prize competition promises to usher in a new era of space exploration. The competition pits teams of scientists, entrepreneurs, and fearless explorers against each other in a race to the moon. But they don't just have to get to the moon. They have to land a robot on its surface, have it travel 500 meters, and send video transmissions back to Earth. That's not easy. So every year the teams come together from all over the world to discuss the challenges of their mission. It's 50 years since uh, JFK said let's go to the moon and humanity went there, the United States, the Soviet Union. We've not been back since. The problem is that it's extraordinarily expensive to go. We have challenged entrepreneurs around the world to get to the moon extraordinarily cheaply. Did I mention it's the largest incentive prize in the history of the world at a cool 30 mil? This year we're at the SETI Institute for the fifth annual Google Lunar X Prize Team Summit. It's good to see all the teams and to see how... Uh... Size them up. <laughs> it seems that uh, a lot of people are pretty open about what they're doing and uh, willing to share. It's pretty open. Any other teams that you're looking at, like... Uh, Apart from the X Prize staff. <laughs> X Prize staff is the only people that scare you? Oh, yeah. All right, we are back with Team Puli. What's Puli? Puli is an ancient shepherd dog. <gasps> Actually came with the Hungarian tribe, so... Are you uh, sending one to the moon? No. Okay. <laughs> You know what uh, actually will be in our mission key part? What's that? As a Canadian team, we will deliver it, hockey puck to the I moon. I knew it. I knew it was going to be a hockey puck. <laughs> We've been looking for different ways to get more and more into space projects. And the X Prize is a great way for us to get a toehold in that, in that industry without having to go through the long, very lengthy process of competing for and losing NASA proposals. You have some pretty young people working on some pretty complex systems and solutions, right? Our oldest student is uh, 25, which is myself. Our youngest is nine. Uh, we have a 15-year-old female working on a spectrometer, so it uh, goes from nine to 25. We've added some new uh, partners to our team. One of them is Flightline Films, and they are going to help us build our camera systems. Will they be uh, 3D cameras? They will be 3D stereoscopic camera systems. That's cool, man. Right. Phoenicians were a civilization in the Mediterranean. They were some of the very first explorers on the Great Blue Sea. Well, we're now embarking on the Great Black Sea. Right now, it's very difficult for space to be relevant. To the average person, I compare it to the internet. Somebody invented a computer, somebody invented the internet, and then all of a sudden, there were all these other things that were attractive, and we couldn't have known those things ahead of time. We can demonstrate that space is important and relevant. We want to give this money away. If these teams do their job and they build the capability, we're going to see a new renaissance in exploration, where we're not going to have one mission every decade. We could have a mission a month. The Google Lunar X Prize competition is showing how a small team of dedicated people can do what only nation states have done before. It's a race to inspire young minds, accomplish incredible technical achievement, and create a brand new space economy. To keep up with this incredible endeavor, follow the competition at googlelunarxprize.org.